Hi there. Did you know that according to the Biomed Central Journal, 80 billion pieces of new clothing are purchased each year globally? Approximately 85% of clothing Americans consume, which is about 80 pounds per person, is sent to landfills as solid waste. I want to show you one of my favorite dresses that's a part of my wardrobe. There are so many things that I love about this dress. As you can see, this color is absolutely beautiful. This dress itself is super stylish, cute, trendy. I feel so confident every time I wear it. And I got this dress at a very affordable price. However, in the six months I've had this dress, I've only worn this dress three times and washed it once. One of the things that I noticed after washing this dress was that this particular string completely unraveled on me, as you can see. After seeing this happen, I was very disappointed because I had no idea that my dress was going to be made in such poor quality. Otherwise, I would have not bought it for myself. However, this experience taught me that even though there may be some clothing items out there that are stylish, trendy, and affordable, that doesn't always mean that they're made with the best quality in mind. It's safe to say that online shopping is the new way to shop. It's fast, convenient, and accessible. However, the biggest consequence of online shopping is the development of fast fashion. And I have been a consumer of fast fashion without even realizing it. My goal today is that I wanna discuss with all of you why fast fashion is a serious global issue and why it needs to be banned all over the world. I will also describe the impact that fast fashion has had on its producers, consumers, as well as the environment. And I will also explain what you can do to help resolve this issue. I will begin by answering a much anticipated question, which is, what is fast fashion? According to the Biomed Central Journal, Fast fashion is the readily available, inexpensively made fashion of today. The word fast describes how quickly retailers can move designs from the catwalk to stores, keeping a pace with constant demand for more and different styles. Investopedia states that fast fashion allows mainstream consumers to purchase the hot new look or the next big thing at an affordable price, while garments are often carelessly made not intended to be worn for years or even multiple times. According to the Good For You website, key factors that are common to fast fashion brands include thousands of styles touching on the latest trends, extremely short turnaround time between when the trend is seen on the catwalk or in celebrity media and when it hits the shelves, Offshore manufacturing where labor is cheap with the use of workers on low wages without adequate rights or safety. Limited quantity of a particular garment and cheap low quality materials causing clothes to degrade after just a few wears and get thrown away. The most common fast fashion brands are Zara, H&M, Topshop, Misguided, Forever 21, Boohoo, Fashion Nova, and Sheen. This leads me into my next point, which will discuss the impact that fast fashion has had on its producers. Girl Spring Magazine states that fast fashion brands outsource production to factories in developing countries that aren't directly affiliated with the brands. Therefore, the brands have no legal responsibility to ensure proper and safe working conditions and appropriate levels of pay. According to Investopedia, Fast fashion has also been criticized on intellectual property grounds, with some designers alleging that their designs have been illegally duplicated and mass produced by fast fashion companies. Biomed Central Journal states that the low and middle income countries produce 80% of the world's clothing. Occupational and safety standards are often not enforced due to poor political infrastructure and organizational management. The result is a myriad of occupational hazards, including respiratory hazards due to poor ventilation and musculoskeletal hazards from repetitive motion tasks. This leads me into my next point, which will discuss the impact that fast fashion has had on its consumers. According to Good For You, fast fashion is encouraging a throwaway culture because of both the built-in obsolescence of the product and the speed at which the trends emerge. It makes us believe that we need to shop more and more to stay on top of trends, creating a constant sense of need and ultimate dissatisfaction. 
Infastopedia states that many fast fashionistas in their teens and early 20s, the age group that the industry targets, admits that they're only wearing their purchases once or twice. This leads me into my next point, which will discuss the impact that fast fashion has had on its environment. Good For You states that fast fashion negative impact includes the use of cheap, toxic textile dyes. Polyester is one of the most popular fabrics. It's derived from fossil fuels, contributes to global warming, and can shed microfibers that add to the increasing levels of plastic in our oceans when washed. Cotton requires enormous quantities of water and pesticides in developing countries, which results in drought risks and create an extreme stress on water basins and in competition for resources between companies and local communities. According to the Biomed Central Journal, the average American throws away approximately 80 pounds of clothing and textiles annually, occupying nearly 5% of landfill space. Girl Spring Magazine states that in some cases, the clothing is disposed through incineration or landfill deposits, and both are hazardous to the environment and release toxic chemicals during their long decomposing process. Consumers also dispose of old clothing by donating to thrift stores, but much of what is donated is never repurchased. The Biomed Central Journal states that in the context of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 12, which calls for sustainable consumption and production as part of national and sectoral plans, sustainable business practices, consumer behavior, and the reduction and elimination of fast fashion should all be a target of global environmental justice advocates. This leads me into my next point, which is a desperate call for action on my end. Some things that we can do as consumers include that we need to focus on purchasing sustainable pieces of clothing that are ethically made with high quality materials. However, sustainable clothing can be very expensive. So if you can't afford sustainable clothes, shopping secondhand at stores like Plato's Closet and Buffalo Exchange is highly recommended and encouraged. It's also important for us to maintain and repair clothes that we already own as well as give old pieces of clothing a new life. We also need to recycle clothes once they're at the very end of their life. In this video, I have discussed what fast fashion is, why it's a serious global issue and should be banned, its impact on its producers, consumers, as well as the environment, and what we can do to solve this issue. When it comes to the clothes we wear, the traditional saying, less is more, still holds its value. Remember, always shop sustainably and ethically. Thank you for watching.